In 2017, Jane Tolry was a 43-year-old psychiatric nurse. She lived in Lisbon with her boyfriend Joseph and his 19-year-old son Nathan Ward. Jane did have a daughter as well, 21-year-old Charlotte Reed, but she didn't live with them. Now, I feel quite bad for doing this story because I didn't find that much information about the victim. And you know me, I like to pay tribute to the victim by telling their story. But it's not always possible. Disclaimers as always, guys. This is a true story. It involves real people. So I do want you to share. I do want you to comment. Just be a little bit sensitive as you do so. Jane, Charlotte and Joseph spent Christmas Eve, Sunday the 24th of December, 2017 together visiting family and going shopping they returned to jane and joseph's house and they spent the evening there nathan was also there but he spent most of his time in his bedroom charlotte was staying the night so sleeping arrangements had been changed up a little bit charlotte was to stay with her mom in the room that were usually her mom's and joseph's and joseph would move out of that room and spend the night in nathan's room with nathan that night, Charlotte, Jane and Joseph wrapped some presents and then went to bed. Meanwhile, Nathan had been sat in his room drinking Jack Daniels. At 5am on Christmas morning, Nathan entered the room where Jane and Charlotte were sleeping. His intention was to sexually assault Charlotte. He'd apparently been in the room for 10 minutes before the family dog came in, which in turn woke Jane up. Obviously, she was stunned to see Nathan. She shouted, what the fuck? But then Nathan lunged at her, hitting her and stabbing her. He had a 9 inch combat knife that he'd bought online. Charlotte quickly got up and tried to protect her mom, but Nathan turned his anger towards her. She tried to defend herself by lying on her back, raising her legs up, kicking and pushing him out. The whole time, Nathan was apparently smiling. Having managed to kick him off, Charlotte didn't see the knife until Nathan got back up again, at which point he sat on her and tried to stab her. At this point, Nathan's dad, Joseph, who had been awoken by all the screaming and shouting, came into the room and tackled him. He was able to overpower him. He grabbed the knife and threw it to the ground. Nathan then started crying and screaming, and just sort of changed and said, It wasn't me, daddy. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. It's not me. I don't know what I'm doing. And then he left the room. While all this was going off, there was obviously quite a loud commotion. The neighbours heard the screams and called 999. And that were about four minutes to six in the morning. Five minutes later, just after 6am, the police arrived to find Nathan with a large black sheaf of a murder weapon tucked into his boxer shorts. Attempts were made to resuscitate Jane and medical assistance was given to Charlotte and Joseph. Despite what had happened shortly before, which left him with extensive lacerations to both of his hands caused by him continuing to use the knife even after the handle had broke, Nathan appeared very calm. When the police cautioned him, he replied, Can I ask a question? Who was it that was murdered? Jane Tolry died from an impact of six stab wounds. Her daughter Charlotte received a number of lacerations to her face, neck and hands. Joseph sustained cuts to his head, upper abdomen and hand. During police interviews, Nathan stated he was in some sort of psychotic episode. But he did admit that he'd previously thought of killing Jane and his own dad, but it was all just fantasy. Nathan had been angry with Jane because of their relationship over the past two years. He was claiming that she demeaned him and she was trying to get him out of the house. It was also suggested in court that Nathan had grown jealous, believing that his dad always prioritised his relationship with Jane over him. In the past, Nathan had bought matches on two different occasions. He'd also purchased handcuffs, duct tape, and an intimidating gas mask and ski mask. He said he was originally planning on using the items to trap and torture Jane. He also said that on the Christmas morning in question, he armed himself with a knife and went into the bedroom, not knowing if he was going to kill Jane or his father. But when Jane woke up and challenged him, he just snapped and felt he had no other choice but to just go for it. Nathan Ward also confessed to three counts of sexual assault against Charlotte. Two counts on the 9th of December, just after she'd celebrated her 21st birthday, and the other count was on the Christmas morning on which the murder took place. In Craigavon Crown Court in January 2017, Nathan Ward pled guilty to all charges. These charges were for murder, attempted murder and wounding with intent. The court received a pre-sentence report and two psychiatric reports. It was concluded 
that there was no evidence that Nathan Ward fulfilled the criteria of any mental illness. 20-year-old Nathan Ward was sentenced to a 17-year minimum tariff. A very short case. Like I said, there's not that much information about it. I, I, I really don't like it when I can't find information. I don't like to do what the media do, which is just try and publicise it and get people to read. You know what I'm like. I'd much rather pay tribute to the victims and try and shame and get the name out of the perpetrator as much as possible. But like I said, it's not always possible. This was a story I went with. What an incredible woman. What an absolutely horrific turn of events. Imagine having your daughter home for Christmas. She must have been so overjoyed about that. Her daughter must have been so happy. And then to wake up in the morning to see your, essentially, not legally binding, but essentially, stepson sexually assaulting her. And as you question what's going on, he then stabs you to death. And then again, from Charlotte's perspective... Of this guy doing that. And how much traumatised you'd be. That is absolutely outright disgusting. And I'm going to leave it there. Again I'm really sorry for this video. I'm not very well. Um, I did intend for it to be out on Christmas Day. But I don't think I'm going to manage it. Um, much love to Charlotte. What a poor 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 woman. An absolute awful thing to happen. It's on Christmas not nonetheless. I hope you've all had a very Merry Christmas and I shall see you next week. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great time.